how would you like it if I sprayed Roundup all over your food? I'm guessing you probably wouldn't, but unfortunately this is happening more and more in the US every year. And I think it's time that we talk about it. What I'm talking about today are a group of genetically modified crops that are under the label Roundup Ready. Roundup Ready was originally developed under Monsanto, which has since been bought out by Bayer. Yeah, that Bayer. And what they've done is they have altered the genetics of certain plants. That way Roundup does not kill them or even affect them at all. Which is pretty mind boggling because Roundup or glyphosate is the most effective herbicide that we have ever created. And because of this new gene that they are splicing into the genome of these plants, it does not affect these plants at all. So why did they do this? It's because it allows them to effectively kill all the weeds in a field without hurting the crop that they are growing. So you can plant a giant field of corn and then as that corn begins to grow and you've got weeds growing alongside the corn, you take glyphosate and you spray the entire field, including the corn, and the corn keeps on growing and everything else dies. Sure is a lot easier than going in hand pulling the weeds or running a plow down the rows to try and disrupt those weeds. Currently, there are six registered Roundup Ready crops in the US and they are being adopted at an astounding rate and there are more on the way. The first crop that was developed as Roundup Ready was soybeans. Over 94% of the soybeans grown in the US are Roundup Ready varieties of soybean. About 15% of those Roundup Ready soybeans are directly consumed by humans, whether in the bean form or in the form of oils. And about 70% of those Roundup Ready soybeans are consumed by livestock of different types. And those livestock are then consumed by us. Next, we have corn, which over 92% of the corn grown in the US is Roundup Ready. Keep in mind that much of that goes to ethanol production, but a lot of it is consumed by people and livestock. Next, we've got canola, and I don't know how much of the canola is directly consumed by humans, but safe to say it is a significant amount, and most of the canola in the US is also Roundup Ready. Next we have sugar beets, and a lot of people are not familiar with sugar beets as a crop, but that's what we grow in the US to supply our sugar needs. In fact, over 50% of the sugar in the US comes from sugar beets instead of sugar cane, because sugar cane isn't grown very much in the US, it's mostly grown overseas. And of the sugar beets that we grow, more than 90% of them are Roundup Ready varieties. Cotton, the clothes that we wear are also Roundup Ready. This one has the highest adoptive rate of 98% or higher of the cotton grown in the US is Roundup Ready. And the last one is alfalfa, which is commonly used to feed our dairy cows and other livestock. In other words, it is very safe to assume that something you are consuming directly has been sprayed with glyphosate and especially things that you are consuming indirectly like eating livestock that were eating things that were sprayed with Roundup. Now one that surprised me because I read about it all the time is that people think that wheat is being sprayed with Roundup. And from what I found that actually may or may not be true. As of right now there are no registered Roundup ready wheat varieties in the US. But that's not to say that some farmers don't use it in order to dry out their wheat prematurely so that way they can get in and harvest it whenever it's ready. After doing this research, it's safe to say that Bayer has a stranglehold on the farming in the US and it's only getting worse every year and they're starting to spread globally. And that's a pretty scary thing to think about. Now I'll admit that in the past, I was someone that didn't put a lot of weight into the whole organic movement. But now this has made me really start to reconsider a lot of previous thoughts that I had about our food. Really the only way that you could assure that your food hasn't been sprayed with glyphosate is to either one, grow your own food, or two, talk to the small farmers that you buy your produce from, or three, to buy certified organic. All this being said, I think we're going to see a lot more people starting to grow their own food or use their farmer's markets a lot more. 
And remember, this whole video has just been about one specific chemical that is on the market, not to mention the thousands of other herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, etc., that are currently being used in our agricultural world. Now, I would love for this discussion to keep moving forward with your own thoughts and commentary and videos about how we can start fixing this in our country.